Saturday Night Live's Pete Davidson apologized for mocking Dan Crenshaw for his war injury, only to have the tables turned on him by Crenshaw himself. In a hilarious segment on SNL's Weekend Update, Crenshaw, the Texas Republican who won an election to the House of Representatives on Tuesday, made a surprise appearance and mocked Davidson's looks. He also had Ariana Grande's song play as his cell phone ringtone a reminder of Davidson's short-lived engagement with the pop star. Davidson drew criticism last week after he made fun of Lt. Commander Dan Crenshaw, whose eye was destroyed by an Eid blast in Afghanistan in 2012. The comedian made an appearance on Saturday Night Live's Weekend Update to give his first impressions of several candidates running in the midterm elections. Davidson eventually got to Crenshaw, first telling the audience this guy's kinda cool. You may be surprised to hear he's a congressional candidate from Texas and not a hitman in a porno movie. Dot earlier this week, castmate Keenan Thompson said that Davidson missed the mark with the joke. But on Saturday, Crenshaw proved to be a good sport. He appeared on Weekend Update alongside Davidson and gave him a taste of his own medicine. Dot Davidson joked that the right and the left agree on something Pete Davidson is a D. Dot Crenshaw then rolls up to the desk and says, you think Dotty thanks Davidson for making a Republican look good. Dot Davidson then apologizes to Crenshaw for laughing at his eye patch. Thank you for saying that, Crenshaw says. Dot so we're good. Davidson asks. Dot we're good, Crenshaw replies. Apology accepted. Dot Crenshaw's cell phone rings. The ringtone is set to Ariana Grande's song Breathin. Are you gonna answer that? Davidson asks. Dot I'm just gonna let it ring. It would be rude to let it go to voicemail, Crenshaw says. After a months long relationship, Davidson and Grand ended their brief engagement last month. Dot when Davidson noted that the ringtone was an Ariana Grande song, Crenshaw asks, Do you know her? Davidson then offers Crenshaw an opportunity to get retribution and mock his looks. Crenshaw then says, Davidson looks like if the meth from Breaking Bad were a person. Dot when Davidson asks if they're even, Crenshaw insists on doing one more. Dot he looks like a troll doll with a tapeworm. Crenshaw says. Dot when Davidson says we should wrap this up, Crenshaw insists on doing another. Dot this is fun, the congressman elect says. Pete looks like Martin Short in the Santa Claus 3. Crenshaw says. Dot then he adds, by the way, one of these people is actually good on SNL. Dot Davidson sheepishly adds, you're right. You're not wrong. Dot dot Crenshaw ended his segment with an appeal for civility in the nation's discourse. There's a lot of lessons to learn here, Crenshaw says. Not just that the left and right can agree on some things, but also this Americans can forgive one another. Dot we can remember what brings us together as a country and still see the good in each other. Dot Crenshaw then mentions that this weekend is Veterans Day. Dot it's a good time for every American to connect with a veteran, he says. Maybe thanks for your service, but I would encourage you to say something else, never forget. When you say never forget to a veteran, you are implying that is an American. You are in it with them, not separated by some imaginary barrier between civilians and veterans, but connected together as grateful fellow Americans. Never forget the sacrifices made by veterans past and present. And never forget those we lost on 9 11 heroes like Pete's father. So I'll just say, Pete, never forget. Davidson, whose father, Scott Davidson, was a New York City firefighter who died in the September 11 terrorist attacks, replies, never forget. Dot and that is for both of us, Davidson says.